All right, so anchoring a drift boat. Uh, a lot of people think that the anchor is the drift boat stopper. It is the drift boat holder at one point. So there's a couple different styles of drift boat anchors. Uh, there's the side pulley and there's the this cleat down in the middle. Um, and the pulley comes, so basically your rope goes underneath of your feet and out the back of the boat. There's a couple different kinds of anchors. Uh, not important for what we want to talk about. What we want to talk about here is anchoring safety. And I guess we can call it uh, de-anchoring or pulling the anchor and then heading back out to the river. So right now we're stopped on shore. Uh, we got a spot that's very safe to anchor. A couple of things you want to think about when you think about safe anchoring. Now uh, the first one is, can you see the bottom? So we should never drop or fire out our anchor uh, if we can't see the bottom. The second thing is, if you can see the bottom, what does the structure look like? Because those anchors look like big claws of dynamite. They hit down in those big boulders and they're gone. And they'll, they'll, they'll roll off one of them and they'll get wedged in between. And really the only way out of that, it's a very dangerous situation, uh, but it's to cut your anchor rope or let the anchor shoot out all the way and then say goodbye to your anchor for the day, which is why you should always have an extra rope on your boat and you should probably carry some sort of anchor, whether that's uh, one of the rock bags um, or uh, just a bag that you could tie up and fill it with rocks and then use it on, on the back as just kind of get you home safe. Uh, you can also take a big rock offshore and you can tie like a figure eight around that and use it for an anchor. We're in a very safe spot to anchor. We've uh, just got out and fished with some rising fish and now we're coming back into our drift boat and we're ready to get going again. The first thing we got to think about is uh, shoulder checking. Is anybody coming? Because oftentimes you see it on the river where people just pull anchor and they head out and they start fishing and they've completely cut off somebody. And I know all the river etiquette is a gray area and everybody has their own opinions. Uh, I personally believe if somebody was to come around and fish this run, um, they should have the right of way. And so we should just kind of respect that. If at any point you feel like you might be cutting someone off, there's a good chance you probably are cutting somebody off. So there's lots of fish in the river and there's lots of places to fish. There's no need to uh, go out there and cut somebody off and then have a bit of hostility for the rest of the day. Uh, it's a beautiful place. Everybody should enjoy it. And that all brings us back to pulling up our anchor, going back onto the river. So I've, I've shoulder checked. I don't see anybody coming behind me. Um, checking back this way. I don't see anybody coming for a long ways. <clears throat> so now it's, it's probably safe and ethical for me to pull anchor. <clears throat> Sometimes when you pull anchor, as you pull anchor, your boat's going to start to sway. So that oscillating motion, can actually get you into a lot of trouble. Anchoring in too deep of water, too fast of water. Uh, those are, are ways that you can get into trouble with anchoring and then pulling your anchor. So as you pull up your anchor, if your anchor and your boat starts to sway, all you gotta do is just stop because then that anchor is gonna work as a balance and it's gonna, it's gonna bring your boat back from swaying. In the shallow water where we've safely anchored, you can see it's not really an issue and we pull up anchor. The other thing we wanna do is we wanna pull away from the shore. So we never wanna turn the boat and push out. We wanna turn the boat towards the shore. Get some water underneath of us. And we just make a couple backstrokes. And that takes us back out to the current. The thing you have to be careful here is if you get moving two sideways, because we're in slow water right now, and if you move yourself out to the faster water, and we get turned too much, that fast water will spin the back of the boat, and then everybody's gonna end up leaning this way. Your oars are gonna drag, and this is when you could lose people, or you could spin and take on water. So you've gotta be really careful about pulling yourself out from shore into faster water because a lot of problems can happen there. So now we've gotten ourselves unanchored. We're back in the river. We're on point with the river. 
and out here you could see there's a little bit quicker water and yes we could catch a fish right here and what we never want to do is anchor in water that we'll say is uh, quicker than walking speed so depth isn't always a big issue um, but if you can see the bottom and the structure is of finer pebbles or uh, mud or sand or something you're, you're comfortable that you're not going to lose your anchor in the big rocks then yes you can anchor there and right now we're, we're the water's all slowed down again i can see the bottom uh we're probably three or four or five feet deep but what i would like to do is i would like to find a little shallower water because i'm a little more comfortable in that and sometimes to land a fish it's really hard because you don't have perfect water to anchor in and so you're in a bit of a conundrum of uh, how do I net this fish and land and anchor the boat safely? So we always say the first thing that matters is boat safety. <clears throat> so if our boat's not safe and something bad happens to the boat, we're never going to catch the fish and then we don't have a way to get home at the end of the day. So we have to be really conscious and cautious of our boat safety. So now we have over here, the water is slowed down to what we would consider a bit of a walking pace. I'm going to angle my back of my boat towards the shore and I'm just going to slowly slide in and I'm going to now get back on point with the river and now I'm slowed down enough that I can grab my rope, drop my anchor and depending on that walking speed of river I let out about four or five feet more and then I take my foot off the locking cleat and we're safely anchored. You know you're safely anchored because your boat's not oscillating, okay? The line, the anchor rope in the back isn't vibrating in the water and we're in a safe place. So we could get out, walk downstream, land the fish. We could get out, walk to shore. We could do a lot of different things in this kind of a water. And again, we're very safe. We found water that we can see the bottom. We found structure that's comfortable for our anchor system to land in and we've safely anchored the drift boat.